just before we come to the end of this Palm Sunday service, uh, I just want to um, reflect on this uh, tremendous way that we're being tested and stretched uh, with our faith and trust in God in these in these new times, in these uncertain times. And I've got a bit of an analogy for you uh, about anchoring. Uh, I, um, I, m one of my greatest pastimes uh, is sailing and uh, I'm missing being able to get out in the water and anchor. I love anchoring. Well, I say I love anchoring, it's very useful and uh, it's quite, uh, there's a lot to learn. And uh, I just want to give you a few lessons on anchoring, uh, which has a hopefully a helpful connection for you. You know, there you are in a boat and uh, you possibly know that you've got sand or mud on the seabed and you think, right, I want to have my lunch or something or stay overnight in a safe place in the harbour. So you put out an anchor and what's so crucial about secure anchoring is letting out plenty of chain or rope, whatever you've got. So it's always better to have chain, especially near the anchor, because it's heavy. And um, the more you let out of your rope and your chain, the better angle that the anchor will be pulling at. So if you look at these next few images, you see, so the left hand four images, uh, you drop the anchor on the seabed and by having a really long chain out, it means the it can pull kind of horizontally, which helps the anchor dig in. And when you want to pull the anchor back up, you just keep pulling in the chain, shortening it, and so that when it's pulling upwards, it has no choice but to eventually break a wave out of the mud and lifts. I kind of see that here in this crisis that we're in, we need to metaphorically let out and give God our trust. I'm seeing that the chain that we let down for our anchor is the amount of trust and faith we have. And the more we can release and focus on God in this crisis, the more secure we'll be held through these tests and trials. And, um, and yet sometimes we just want to be in control and we just can't find it. We may find it hard to give God our, our control and uh, let go and let God. And, and that's where the anchor will drag because we're hanging on to too much. And so at these times, the more trust and faith we can turn to God, the more secure our anchor will be in this storm. Let go and let God is really what I'm saying. Uh, I found this on, on, the, on Google Images. I cast my burden unto you, Father, because you care for me and you grant me the desires of my heart. As I surrender my all to you, help me to always remember that I can let go and let God. And for those of you who remember Charlie Brown, here I found this uh, also on Google. And I think it's, is this friend called Lucy? Do you know what? I think it's Lucy. Anyway, Lucy says, sometimes I feel like I've done all that I can. And then Charlie says, then it might be time to walk away, to let go and let God do it. Not everything is meant for you to handle. Trust God. Some great advice there. And you know, we can't ourselves handle this situation. We're very vulnerable. And so I find the best thing to do when I'm feeling vulnerable is to cast my care on him, to let go and let God look after us and take care of us. Sure, we need to do wise things like keeping clean, like keeping our distances. Um, so we need to do that and we need to pray. Pray for God's protection on those who are at the front line. And thank God for them and pray for those who are sick and poorly. Uh, and Lord, we, we need to let go and let God and give it to God. We're going to sing a, a lovely, our last song today in this service is about our anchoring in Jesus. <laughs>